Assalamu alaikum what's up guys this is Mustafa Tahir and I'm back with another video so in this video guys we are going to have a look at uh, the pop-up menu buttons in our flutter application so let me just remove this banner first so guys you might have seen uh, in most of the mid-level or even some complex applications that uh, if they have an app bar they might have a an icon on the right corner for uh, rating for app store rating or play store rating or for the app exit and share button as well so that kind of uh, menu item is known as pop-up menu buttons in Flutter so in this video we are going to implement that one so I will first add app bar to the to our scaffold and under the app bar I will add a title as well let's say exploring pop-up menu and I want to add an icon so that from that we can access our proper menu item so I will add another property of app bar which is actions and I will create another function which adds this icon build menu passing the context for now okay so to add a pop-up menu button we have a by default implementation available and we don't need to add any kind of package or third-party plugin for it so I will write pop-up menu button and I need to specify the type as well as it comes with type T which means that you can represent any variable you want so in my case I will apply a string and we need to also define item builder which is of course a list for the item builder we need to pass one parameter and then we can use the list so for the list I'm creating another one widget build list taking context as the only parameter and in the list I will have a pop-up menu item which requires a child applying text for now let's say share and I need to replace this with dynamic I will create three more let's say for share for rate us and let's say save and the last one would be exit now we need to add this fu this function into our item builder and for the pop-up menu I need to add an icon as well so for the icon there's an icon property present and let's say icons dot let's add person add if I hot reload and pass this function under the app bars action and if I hot reload now and if I click this one list pop-up menu dynamic oh I forgot to define the type so let's say list of 
pop-up menu item and I will define the type here string or reload again if I click now you can see that we are having four buttons and in the order we have added that so here our 50% code is completed now only one thing is remaining which is that how can we access these particular indexes so for that we we have uh, two main events particularly present in the pop-up menu button itself which is the on selected and the on cancelled events and for that we need to have some modifications in the pop-up menu item child as well we need to add another property which is value and under the value you can see that it is now showing me uh, as uh, the type string because I have defined here the type T which is a string so for the value I need to define the particular index for it so let's say share has value 1 rate us has value 2 save has value 3 and exit 4 now another part is complete now just I need to add another property which is on selected which has one parameter which is the i which is the index so from here we will receive the index and then we can call the action so on clicking any of the index I need to show a snack bar so I will create another function pass the context again scaffold messenger dot off context dot show a snack bar and on the snack bar I will show the context clicked and I will pass the index here string index sorry remove this we don't, we don't need and now I can check that if my index equals to 1 I can show the snack bar and pass this index I can do the same for index 2 3 and 4 respectively 2 3 4 if I hot reload if I click any of this you can see that the snack bar is appearing highlighting the particular index which I have pressed so guys this is for the practice purpose only since I have added the static fields but in the real world applications and scenarios you have to deal that with accordingly so we are done with the on selected now it's time to add that when we cancel so it doesn't require any uh, any single parameters so in the same I can have a snack bar which is just for error I won't pass any index and I will just replace this with cancelled and on the on cancel I will simply call this function let's try clicked we received the index cancelled you can see cancelled snack bar has appeared so as you can see in the pop-up menu child I have added a uh, text only but if you want you can add your styling as well you can add a raw and add icon as well and 
so on and so forth. There are tons of uh, tons of creativity you can do with the child stuff. So here guys, I will wind up this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. And for more videos, feel free to click that notification bell and do check out my other playlist. It has tons of content available and do let me know in the comments uh, your suggestions and what you feel about these videos and and so on. And thank you so much for watching this video. This is Mustafa Tahir signing off. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.